House. Meanwhile, a Bronx advocate and local artist have joined forces to help beautify a pedestrian walkway tunnel that for years was an eyesore in the community. News 12's Carmen Grant has more from Walton Avenue and East 174th Street. I just had to do something. For years, community advocate Cindy Flora says this pedestrian tunnel on East 174th Street was a neighborhood blight with graffiti filled walls, garbage thrown about and a lingering stench of urine. Fed up with the unsightly condition of the pedestrian tunnel, Flores decided to take matters into his own hands and improve the look of the commuter tunnel. It just entered my mind to throw some colors down here and designs and King B was the man to speak to. With a new coat of paint and some creative ideas, the two began to transform this once dark pedestrian tunnel into a more colorful and more inviting walkway for Bronxites. King B is the artist behind the murals. Do something, you know what I mean, say creative, something positive for the people that pass by here all the time. Flora says once a week he also uses a water hose to clean the sidewalk tunnel. Long sites who walk through this area say the transformation has been eye-opening. It's beautiful, I love it. Boy, it just was like, it was dull, it was like scary to walk through here, but now it's an upbeat you know, up the temple. Thank God somebody in the community wants to do something. The community advocates are also working to get more lighting installed in the Bronx Tunnel to help improve safety. In the concourse section of the Bronx, Carmen Grant, News 12. You can spot Queen Bee's work all over the borough. Great job.